Uh, hello, I'm Alex Gill with Anime on Location, and we're here at ASEN 2011 with August Han. Uh, could you tell us first, uh, what got you into the world of fantasy and sci-fi? Uh, from a very early age, uh, when I was, I, I grew up in Saudi Arabia because my parents were Air Force. And I didn't, I wasn't able to keep a lot of friends for any length of time because we were always moving. So one of the only friends that I had were books. And the books that I had were uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and uh, Princess in Amber by Zelazny. Yep. So those got me into fantasy and science fiction. Awesome. Um, it says in your biography that you belong to the Role Playing Game Association or yes. RPGA. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what that is about? Oh, um, the RPGA is a society that, that fosters role playing uh, with groups by means of supporting it through conventions, through home games. Uh, they give uh, game masters and players the tools to be social together and to uh, just sort of create a, a society where role playing is the norm, where they have fun with it, and where there's some rewards that come with it. It also says you grew up in a very dynamic ways you just previously mentioned, uh, living in Saudi Arabia and traveling around as a child. Um, how did these experiences influence your passion in writing? Uh, well, I got to see a lot of different cultures. I grew up in England, in France, in Japan. And so because of that, I saw a lot of different cultures. And I like to reflect that in my writing. Uh, you also have a novel in the fantasy realm. And uh, we just want to know how that all came together. Well, um, I was working for a while with a, a role-playing publisher called Mongoose Publishing, and they got a hold of a license called uh, Lone Wolf, which is set in a fantasy world called Aeon. And that uh, the creator of that setting uh, approached them, uh, approached me through them, to write a novel for him. And it was actually uh, he asked for a trilogy, and I'm still working on the third book. That's it. Uh, for those of us who may not have read your uh, books yet, uh, can you provide a, a brief description of why people should uh, be enticed and, you know, want to read them? Okay. Well, this trilogy is set in the country of Telkoi, which is a desert country, and there's not a lot of desert fiction. Uh, you know, there's some classic things like the Scheherazade, Arabian Nights, but very little that's modern. So that's what I tried to bring to this particular set. Uh, this setting is a desert setting with nomad cultures, and, but there's also magic and gods and sword fights and I just think I think it's a nice modern retelling. Uh, now let's dig a little deeper. Uh, is it tough to work on projects like Babylon 5 and Starship Troopers that have uh, such a large following and can be perhaps difficult to please? <laughs> um, well, I have found that fans can be very unforgiving. They really can. And if you make a mistake, they'll let you know. <laughs> So that can be a little challenging, but it's also very rewarding because when you get it right, you have a huge fan base of people who appreciate your work. Uh, how about your work on Lone Wolf and Conan? Uh, what kind of challenges did you have uh, when working through these series? Uh, probably the same challenges of, as anyone else's IP. There's a lot of information that they've created that I have to reflect, especially with Robert Howard's Conan series. Um, there's so much out there. There are books, there's comics, there's the movies, there's uh, the cartoon series, which a lot of people take very seriously. So uh, that's probably it. The IP challenges are the big part. Uh, so where can we uh, find works uh, that have been uh, written by you? Can we find them online? Can we go to the Barnes & Noble and get them? You know? uh, some of them will be in Barnes & Noble. Uh, some are online with uh, Amazon.com. And also you can go to the, a lot of my work is through Mongoose Publishing, and you can definitely go to their website and order them. But yeah, online's your best bet. Right, cool. Uh, any final words that you uh, have for the fans out there? Um, well, yes. Actually, uh, for fans, I would say, one, support your local game shops. Uh, they are the core to the gaming community. So while my books are mostly online, some of them can be found at game shops. If you can find them there, buy them there. Uh, also, just thank you for your support, and I hope to be in this 10 years from now. All right, thank you very much. August Hahn, everyone.